The United States was taken by surprise by COVID-19, also known as the coronavirus. The seriousness of the virus has left classrooms across the nation empty or half capacity. But what exactly is COVID-19? It's an empty person. The coronavirus um, gets you sick. Um, it's a thing when you get sick, um, you have to go to the doctor. Around. Webster Preschool in Oskaloosa, Iowa, is one of many schools having to enforce and adapt to COVID-19 protocols. Preschool teacher Roxy Mormon talked about the various changes that she and her students are facing from previous years. So I go outside of the building and I temperature check all of the students and then we line up and then we bring them in. Parents are also not allowed into the building, where before they would bring their children to the classroom door. Students must also bring their own pencil boxes filled with crayons, pencils, and markers instead of sharing supplies provided by the school. Masks are also required for each individual student to attend class, and disinfectant has become the staff's best friend. We wear masks all the time, other than snack and outside recess, gym recess, we still wear them. Um, and then we clean, we clean and spray down in between, you know what I mean, every time they're at the tables, um, those kinds of things. As for the students, keeping their hands clean is vital to help stop the spread of the coronavirus. We definitely wash our hands a lot more, um, which we already did wash hands a lot anyway. <laughs> Just because it's preschoolers, so um, one of our rules, uh, one of our DHS rules is, is that every time they come into the classroom, they have to wash their hands. So, um, And then after eating, they have to wash their hands. So. But let's say all the hand washing is not enough and someone accidentally catches the virus. What happens to them then? You get, you get, you get, you get like puke. Well, I get the strep throat and then everybody around me gets the strep throat because all my family has the, almost gets the strep throat, but I don't. As you can see, COVID-19 is no joking matter, but it does affect people in other ways besides sickness. For Roxy, she feels like it takes a toll on a kid's ability to learn. The hardest part for me is adjusting to the mask and the face shield. Um, obviously, at the preschool level, they have to be able to see my face um, when I, you know, form letter sounds and things like that. The face shield also takes away the excitement and magic of read aloud time. I get into my read alouds quite a bit. It's one of my favorite things. Mm -hmm. So when you have a shield on, it makes it different. Um, or a mask makes it different. However, the kids are still retaining knowledge taught to them daily and are even putting it to the test. I build my dad. Face shields and masks don't only alter Roxy's ability to teach the way she believes works best, but when it comes to understanding children, it's harder to read their expressions. There's still a lot that I miss in their facial expressions. Um, you know, and I'm a, I'm a kid reader, so, you know, I, um, you know, which way we go next, if we want to keep working on something, if we want to take a break, if we, you know, that kind of thing. Um, I can mostly tell by their eyes, but sometimes, you know, I miss their faces, for sure. While nervous about how the kids would handle having to adjust to a new schedule, Roxy found the kids adapting quickly. You know, it's amazing. Kids, young kids, um, adapt very easily. They, they um, adapt very quickly, much, much better than older kids and, and adults. As for wearing the mask for an extended period of time, Roxy was astonished on how well the kids kept them on. They do exceptionally well wearing masks. <laughs> way better, way better than, than adults do, I would say. So. Although, we all need a little reminder once in a while. I mean, I may have to give a few reminders on pulling masks up or putting masks on, but not very often. Through the eyes of Roxy, you can hear how she believes her students are being affected. But why don't we ask the students how school is more challenging? Very, like, weird. How is it weird? Because it's all red around. It's because of wearing your mask. You... You try to not get sick. But one thing remains the same for him, and that's the class famous talks at the snack table. I, I have to know.
more bars for snacks. And I have fruit snacks. I love cupcakes! With Christmas approaching, Roxy was looking forward to her annual Christmas concert she and her students put together for parents. But that has been put on hold due to COVID-19. Instead, she thought of a new solution. Um, we are going to do a recorded Christmas program this year where the kiddos come in um, and in all their finest Christmas attire. And we're going to record it and send it, send that out to the parents for them to watch. So that will be awesome. We'll still decorate the gym and use the risers and all of that fun stuff. Although the class is still grasping the lyrics of the songs, you can't let their hard work go to waste. So why don't we take a sneak peek at their progress? And say it glows. All of the other reindeers used to laugh and call him names. When it comes to parents, Roxy said everyone has been on board with the protocols. Most everybody is pretty, is pretty good about it. Um, I don't think anybody is too fearful. They're just careful. But what are the parents saying at home about the virus? To not pull my mask down. Oh, they want it to be done so do I, so I don't have to wear my mask. They say I have to wear it. So wear their mask over your nose. The cooperations of parents and students make learning easier and safer during the pandemic. Roxy is happy to be in person instead of online. It works. It is it the same? Absolutely not. Face-to-face mm -hmm. um, -face learning, especially with littles, it's way, way, way more effective. As another day comes to an end in the life of a preschooler during the COVID-19 pandemic, they wanted to spread awareness by giving three facts they know about the coronavirus. Um, when you get sick, you die. And then when kids get sick, they don't die. Maybe someone got sick and then they started it and then they got um, someone else sick. Animals don't get the coronavirus. People can get it. It's passed around to house to house. It's in the doors and it gets in your mouth and it gets you very, very, very cough. In Oskaloosa, Iowa, this is Common Silvers reporting.